Hi there friends, I'm here today to share my summer favorites with you guys. So I know that typically people do monthly favorites and I've been thinking about starting that up again so I'd love to hear from you about if you would like to see a September favorites video at the end of this month. But I figured I would compile kind of my June, July, August favorites into one big summer favorites video. A lot of this is stuff that I loved using in New York City. So I have for you today some uh, face products, some makeup, a couple of clothing items, and then some media type things to talk about as well. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I have to share with you is this face wash. It is by Soap and Glory and it is amazing. I have loved using this. This is my new bottle of it. I had a travel size one that I bought to see if I liked it and I went through that so quickly. It is the Face Soap and Clarity 3-in-1 Daily Detox Vitamin C Facial Wash. Smooths, cleans, purifies. Um, let's see. It's a high-tech foaming facial wash formulated with complexion friendly, non-dry, and easy rinse surfactants that will do a bang up job at washing your face. Basically it's great, it's meant for all skin types. It smells amazing. It smells very minty and I love it. Um, and it has these little things in it that I guess are supposed to help clean your face or in things that clean stuff. I don't know what they're called. But I love them. I think it actually is helping my face a bit but I also just really love the smell of it. My other thing is this Lush face mask. It is the Mask of Mag Magnamenti. I think it's a play on magnanimity, is that the word? But in any case, it says it is a face and body mask packed full of peppermint, kaolin, and scrubby aduki beans for deeply cleaned skin. I also like it because it's not one of the ones that you have to keep in the fridge. It looks like this. Um, God, I think I just really love mint smelling face things. I've never used it on my body, but I use it on my face. I keep it on anywhere from 5 to 10 minutes, and then I clean it off with a washcloth, and it's just amazing. I need to buy a new one soon, because it's going to expire, so I need more. So while I was in New York City this summer, I ran out of my um, foundation, and my roommate Kendall had just bought a new one and really liked it, so I asked her if I could try it because one of the best things about me and Kendall living together was that we used the same shade for everything, so we could try each other's makeup out and decide before we bought it for ourselves. So I ended up with a new concealer and foundation. The foundation is the Revlon Color Stay Makeup uh, for combination oily skin, but they also have it for like normal dry skin. It has SPF 15 in it, and I use shade 110 Ivory. I love this foundation. It stays on super well. I like quite a bit of full coverage, which it gives without feeling heavy or cakey. Um, this is actually my second bottle of it already because I've been using it nonstop. I don't use anything other than this now. And I really love it. I used to use the Revlon Color Stay like years ago, but I hated it because it didn't have a pump. And so now they've re-released it with a pump on the top, which makes life so much easier. And my new concealer is, I think it's Maybelline? Yes, Maybelline. I've like used it so much I've rubbed it off. This is my second one of this as well. I use shade 15, which is fair. Um, and it is the Fit Me Concealer. I think that's all it says. But it's just basically one of these normal concealers like this. It's particularly good for covering spots. I don't know that it's really great at under the eye. I tend to use my Chanel concealer stick for like under eye concealer whenever I do that. But this is super good and I carry it with me at all times for touching up. Another beauty favorite this summer is that I finally bought myself the Kat Von T, Kat Von D Tattoo Liner, which is a waterproof liquid eyeliner that I know everyone else has had forever. But I finally got it. If you haven't seen it, it looks like this. It's just a super dark black eyeliner, but it goes on so beautifully. This might be a weird thing to say, but it stays so moist. I found that a lot of drugstore liquid eyeliners dry up really fast whenever you're using them, um, like on the actual nib of it. And this one is so nice and it doesn't do that at all and it goes on beautifully. I like that I can make a super thin line with it. I knew this summer that I wanted to buy myself a new eyeshadow palette and I was going to buy one of the big naked ones, but instead I got this beautiful Becca one that I'm obsessed with. All right, I'm gonna try not to show you the mirror, but it has these five shades in it and they are all beautiful. It's the Ombre Rouge Eye Palette from Becca. And as you can tell, I mostly use this one. 
um, which is the middle shade, and it's actually I have it on today. It's just this beautiful kind of rosy toned coppery color. Um, super good for every day. They're fairly matte because um, I don't really like sparkly eyeshadows that much. Um, but it's just got, these colors are all beautiful. I use them all occasionally, but mostly just this one a lot. For the record, I don't really remember the price of any of these things that I'm showing you today. So I will try and put links to what I can for like the clothing and the media I'm gonna talk about down below. But um, the concealer and the foundation are drugstore. Lush obviously comes from Lush, Soap and Glory, wherever you can buy those. And then the, all the other things I did buy at Sephora. So I'm obsessed with these Smashbox liquid lipsticks. I have one on today, I wear them all the time, and I've already bought three, it's kind of a problem, and I know two more that I want to buy. These I do know cost $25, but they are so good, I'm going to swatch them for you. The one I have on today is called Big Spender, and it is beautiful. I like these because they go on really well, and they actually stay on, I've only touched this up once today, I've eaten three times, and it still looks this good. Um, I only touched it up because it was going to be filming, otherwise I could have left it. And this one looks like this. It's just the most beautiful dark pinky color. This one is what I wear a lot of the time. It's called Babe Alert. It's the first one that I bought. And it's this really nice neutral pinky color. Hold up, I'm swatching it here. I don't want to swatch it because I don't want to waste any. <laughs> but it's this color here and I think it's beautiful for every day. And then I went ahead and picked this up. It's definitely a fall winter shade, so I haven't actually worn it out yet, but I cannot wait to. It's this deep berry red color, um, and I just think it's so gorgeous. Like, look at that. I cannot wait to wear that in winter with a cape and a sweater, my overalls. <laughs> just really love fall everything. So moving on from beauty and skincare to a couple of clothing items, I have a pair of shorts and a pair of shoes that I want to share with you. These are kind of creased because I've been wearing them a lot. These shorts are from H&M. They are just their little high-waisted um, shorts. They, I believe, cost $12.99, $12.99. Um, and they're just very simple. They've got nice pockets in the front and the back. Oh, I've just found money in that pocket. Good to know. Um, I have these in this navy color, which I just purchased, and a hunter green color, which is actually in the wash right now, that I've been wearing all summer long. They're super comfortable. They don't feel like structured shorts. They feel kind of more like a, um, like an athletic short almost. I don't know. They're so comfortable, and I've been wearing them all the time, so I had to include them. So I used to hate Birkenstocks. I was one of those people, and now I really love them. I have these, they're not actual Birkenstocks. I might be getting a pair for my birthday though. I don't know. These are Steve Madden's, um, or Madden Girl, or whatever the line is. But I wanna show you these shoes. They look like this. They're just your typical Birkenstock design, basically. I think they were like $40 instead of the $100 that actual Birkenstocks are. I will try and link them below if I can find them. But I am in love with these shoes. I wear them everywhere. These are the shoes that I keep on. We have a shoe rack in our living room. And I keep these out there because I just put them on all the time. I have bought them like, oh, these would be good to wear like whenever I'm going to get the mail or going like here whenever I'm going to the um, main house to print something. And now I just wear them constantly. Oops. So I have a book, a TV show, a movie, a YouTuber, and a couple of Broadway shows that I want to talk to you about as well because they are definitely my summer favorites. I started watching Game of Thrones this summer. I'd watched some episodes before, but I watched all of season six, which I know doesn't make much sense, but I like know enough about the show because I'm friends with people who watch the show. But I watched it, I loved it. My roommates and I would watch it together every time a new episode came out and just scream over it. I'm really upset about it, what happened in the last episode, in the finale for season six. I don't want to say any spoilers, but let's just say that my favorite character died. So I'm sad. But my other favorite is Alive and Well for now, so hopefully Sansa will be okay, because that's all I have now. So my favorite movie that I watched this summer for the first time, other than Finding Dory, which was a great movie, but is the movie Brooklyn. I watched it with Mary Claire actually the day that we went to see Sarah Sharonin in The Crucible, which we didn't really like, but she's great. And so we decided to watch Brooklyn because she's stars in it, and because it's about a girl moving to New York City, but in like the late 1940s, and we also had just been to Ellis Island, so we thought it was super appropriate. 
I love that movie. One of those few examples where I love the movie a lot more than the book, which I also read this summer. Speaking of books, I love Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. This is the movie, because I don't have the book here, but I do have the movie, which I also like, although I don't really like Sam Riley as Mr. Darcy, but I'm not too bothered about that because I love Douglas Booth as Mr. Bingley, and Mr. Bingley is where it's at. Um, mostly I just really like Lily James as anything, as Elizabeth Bennet, as Cinderella, anything she does, I'll go see it. So, so basically, I only have this with me, but the book is what's super good. Um, especially if you're very into Jane Austen and you're very familiar with the language, you'll recognize a lot from her actual books. And the humor and the satire in it is just perfect. I highly, highly recommend it. I didn't watch it for years because I was like, no, no, that's silly, it's stupid. It's amazing. I discovered the YouTuber, or the YouTube family, I don't know how to say that, the Mitchellacks. Um, it's Stefan and Hannah Mitchellack. They're this adorable British couple with this adorable son named Grayson, who's like two and a half years old, I think. And they live in London. Basically, it's everything that I love. They're super funny. They're a bit smaller of a YouTuber, which is kind of nice whenever you get into a channel when they're still smaller. So you feel it feels a bit more intimate. Um, that sounds weird, but... Basically, I really like them. Um, I also like that I've interacted with both Steph and Hannah on social media, which is a really good way for a YouTuber to win me over. Um, but basically, their vlogs are just the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Steph is a wizard at editing. Seriously, they film the most beautiful things. Um, and their son's really adorable, and I love kids, so they're my new favorite. It wouldn't be me if I wasn't talking about Broadway shows. So, I saw Hamilton this summer. Obviously, I love that, but that's not really a new favorite, so I didn't want to include it. I have three shows that were new to me this summer, which I'm in love with. The first of which is Bright Star. Um, Bright Star was a kind of bluegrass musical written by Steve Martin and Edie Brickell set in North Carolina, which is where I'm from and where I live, so I love that part of it. And it's just perfect. If you have any interest in bluegrass music or folk or musicals, I highly recommend getting the cast album. It's a beautiful album regardless of the show itself. Um, especially the song Asheville, which is my favorite song, but it's just a great show and I really wish it was still open, so fingers crossed for a tour. The next show is She Loves Me. If you follow me on social media or you read my blog, you know how much I love She Loves Me and how could I not with a cast like Laura Benanti, Zachary Levi, Gavin Creel, and Jane Krakowski, plus some other really great people and my favorite ensemble person, Andrew Cooper. It is a perfect show. One of my favorite movies of all time is You've Got Mail, and this is based on the same story that You've Got Mail is based on. Um, so it's set in 1930s Budapest, and it's just the most adorable show. Um, there was a live stream of it. It was the first Broadway show ever to be live streamed, which yes, I also watched, even though I saw the show four times. But that will be being released in movie theaters in November, so if you haven't seen it, you can see it then. And finally, I saw this little show called Daddy Longlegs that was off-Broadway. A friend had told me to check it out, but they were $25 student tickets, so I thought, why not? It's based on a New England children's novel from the turn of the century, and I'm in love with it. Um, it's about this orphan who very much reminds me of Jo March from Little Women and her mysterious benefactor who decides to pay for her to go to college so that she can be a writer. Right? I said Jo March. Um, but it's basically the most adorable show. Definitely check out the cast album if you want to find out more. Um, she Loves Me also has a cast album that you can check out. Basically buy all, all the cast albums. I will try and put links to this below. So I would love to hear what you guys have been loving over the summer because I'm always open to suggestions for beauty products, face products, YouTubers. Um, I'd love to watch more people who live in London because I might be moving there next year. Fingers crossed. Um, I basically anything you want to tell me about, I would love to check out. Also, don't forget to let me know in the comments or on social media if you would like to see a September Favorites video. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you liked it so that I know to film more of this type of video. And to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of me. <laughs> and if you would like to see a room tour soon. Um, you can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I'm at NicoleAckman16. And check out my blog, which is flowercrownsandrevolutionaries.blogspot.com, where I post a lot of theater-related content, as well as some, like, outfit posts and things like that. So, hopefully I will have a room tour for you soon. Until then, I'll see you next week. Bye! What? No. <laughs> Guess who's back? Back again. The best testament to how long-lasting these are. They will not come off my hand. Oh
here.